Hey there everybody, this is Adam Zundel from the Mountain East Conference here to give you a brief tutorial on baseball and softball stat crew. In this video we're going to go over with the, the basic setup which is roster maintenance, creating a roster and your players within it, and then importing and exporting it uh, so that you can get to your game setup. So with that we're going to go ahead and go to our baseball and softball folder for me it's on my desktop and we're going to go ahead and go to utilities and very important once you open utilities that you're in the create the right directory I've created one it's called 15 samp for samples uh, then you go to roster maintenance and as you can see I've already started one roster here uh, the University of Tampa I've only put one player in so far. Didn't stick. So we'll go ahead and add a player. As you can see on my right here, I'm looking at the roster. Pretty straightforward. Put the number. And then for the short name, you can put in the last name. Some teams like to put in a first initial period and then last name. Uh, we'll just go with last name for our purposes. And then in the extended name, it's important that you put his full name, the player's full name, so that it shows up on box score so that media can read it. And also, it's important to, to fill out this data here below, bats, throws. Uh, if we're looking at Giovanni Alfonso, he uh, is right and right, and he's a junior. He's a shortstop. And it's helpful to have this information just for your sake. You can skip hometown if you like. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do that, okay? So there he shows up, and you're going to go ahead and repeat that for the whole process. And so that'll be your, your Tampa roster. Now, we need an opponent for Tampa to play, so we go back to roster maintenance. And this is if you're just starting from scratch, and you go to add new team. Colorado Mesa. We'll just call them Mesa for short. Generally, if you're getting these from uh, schools, this information, all you'll have to do is import it and it'll be filled out. But if you were just creating a roster just from scratch, uh, you would go here and then you would repeat the process just as we did. Okay, most often you will be receiving a roster from your fellow SIDs, and that'll be what we'll show you now. We're going to go to import that. X out of here, where you go, uh, just to go back in, we go to our utilities. We go to import and export. I'm going to import a roster, and it's important when you get a roster in your email that you save it somewhere where you can find it. I put a lot of my stuff in the C drive because it's easier for me to go and retrieve. So I'm going to look at my C drive now. I'm looking for the Mesa roster. And I'm going to fill in this information. You do not want to change the team ID because that impacts how uh, the other team gets it. They expect their roster to be in a certain way. So as, as you received it, don't change any of that. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. It says my import is complete. And now if I go to the roster maintenance, and I hit Mesa, I should see all of the players. And that is a lot simpler, of course, than typing in every individual team for every uh, opponent that you have. So um, that's how you go ahead and import a roster.